morning. Good morning, Freedom Family. Uh, thanks for joining me today for our daily devotions. You know, right now we are going through a series called Miracle Grow, and uh, we're focusing this week on cultivating what uh, is healthy in our life spiritually. Uh, we've all, we're concentrating this week on the elements of uh, manipulation and control and how, oh my goodness, we do not want those in our lives. You know, at, for me as a person, um, I like to have things in order. I like to have things in a uh, place where I can control them. And in some situations like, you know, getting things ready for an event or um uh, you know, just small things in my life, that's not a big deal. But when it comes to spiritual things, um, I think you would agree with me. We need to give up control to the one who controls the the seasons, the one who controls um, the world, the one who controls everything in this world. Um, when I try to take things into my own hands and try to control them my spe- myself, especially in the area of spiritual things, oh my gosh, I can make such a mess. And you know, sometimes that's hard for me personally, and I'm sure it's hard for many of you as well. Um, you know what? If we take a look though at Genesis chapter 15, we can see a situation where... Um, Oh my gosh, when someone tried to take things into their own hands and control them, it turned out very poorly and it's affected generations. You know, God told Abraham in Genesis 15 that uh, he was going to make him the father of many nations. And this was at a time when, you know, Abram did not even have a son. He did not have an heir. Uh, But God, you know, told him, I am going to bless you with a son. I am going to bless you with an heir. And your generations will be as countless as the stars in the sky. And I love the verse that talks about um, an Abraham, or excuse me, an Abram believed the Lord. And the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. So, you know, Abram took hold of that promise that uh, God had given him. And, um, you know, he trusted him. But then time passed. Years passed and still no son. And so what happened? Abram and his wife, Sarai, took things into their hands. They got Hagar mixed up in the middle of things and said, you know, hey, Sarai said, hey, here's my uh, my uh, servant. Take her and your seed can come through her. That has messed up so much so much in their own personal lives. And now for, uh, you know, generations later, the two groups of people, the one from um, Hagar's uh, line and the one from Sarai or Sarah's line, you know, they've been uh, combating one another for generations. And it's just caused problem. Through that one act of taking things into their own hands, they created problems for generations. You know what? We need to go back to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you the path to take. Don't try to take things into your own hands. And I'm speaking to myself as well, because when we try to act like God, and that's how it what it really boils down to. When we try to control things, instead of letting uh, the control be in the hands of the one who created the heavens and the earth, we will make a mess of things. We need to be like seeds that are planted in the ground. We need to lean into the darkness. We need to trust. We need to trust the one who provides the wind and the rain and the sun and the nutrients and the soil that we've been planted in. And we need to trust that he has got the, his own timetable at work in our lives. And when we lean into it, then it will produce something beautiful. Freedom family, lean into it. Lean into what he wants in your life. Lean into his control. Trust in him. Don't lean in your own understanding and something beautiful will come about. Let's pray together. Father God, we choose to trust you this day. We don't want to take control into our own hands. 
We want to lean into who you are and in your path and direction for our lives. God, we just choose this day to submit ourselves to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, you have a really wonderful day.